Hey everyone, Derek Coulson here of Megalithic Marvels. The world famous Easter Island statues known as the Moai are so iconic and ingrained into the fabric of modern pop culture that most people do not even realize that the statues themselves point to so much more mystery and intrigue regarding this ancient island civilization. For example, did you know that there still exists on the island very ancient megalithic mortarless walls almost identical to those seen in Peru? More details about this in just a minute, but first let me share a few facts and some other intrigue. Lying isolated in the East Pacific, Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, is the easternmost Polynesian island and the most remote inhabited island on the planet. It lies about 2,300 miles west of South America. Now there is evidence to suggest that the island was once covered by ancient forests, according to Professor Dr. Olaf H. Selling, who is the director of the Paleobotanical Department of the Swedish Museum of natural history. He examined stratified deposits from the crater swamps under microscope and was able to determine that the island had once been covered by forest flora and trees that later became extinct. What happened to this ancient island oasis? As amazing as the massive Moai statues are, what amazes me most about Rapa Nui is that we can still see today megalithic mortarless walls on the southwest corner of the island at a site called Ahu Vanapu. Let's now compare this megalithic wall seen here on Easter Island to what we see here in Peru in the Cusco and Sacred Valley areas. Notice the striking similarities that both feature multi-ton finished stones that are mortarless and precision crafted. So fine, you really couldn't fit a piece of paper through the stones. Now, Captain Cook in the British expedition of 1774 marveled at the precision stone megalithic masonry on Easter Island. Captain Cook compared these walls to the best in England. He was particularly impressed by the huge wall that once existed at Hango Roa, which unfortunately is now gone uh, as the blocks were later used to build a new harbor. Many of the oldest megalithic structures that existed along the cliffs that the early explorers such as Captain Cook and William J. Thompson described seeing in the 1700s and 1800s have since disappeared into the sea from the pounding ocean surf and landslides. Now, in 1923, explorer and author J. McMillan Brown visited Easter Island and later described uh, what he saw. He stated this, quote, The tooling and fitting of Cyclopean blocks are exactly the same in Cusco and in Easter Island, end quote. Norwegian author and explorer Thor Heyerdahl was the first to conduct major excavations on Easter Island in the 1950s, and he wrote this, quote, we discovered a megalithic wall of finely hewn and perfectly fitted blocks during our excavations on the landward side of Ahu Nanao. This buried wall was clearly older than the middle period walls visible above ground. Nothing like it was found on a single island in the whole of Polynesia, but it is typical of megalithic walls of South America. The probability is overwhelming that the inspiration came from the nearest continent to the east. In closing, oral traditions of the islanders state that the island was settled twice. The first time by a race known as the Long Ears, who came from the east, and the second time by the Short Ears from the west. These long ears appear to have been a power in the land at an early period in the history of the island. Oral traditions state that the short ears were merely laborers, while the long ears were the master builders of the larger stone statues, which were uh, crafted in the Rano Raraku quarry and found scattered all over the island. The long ears are also credited to have engineered the Ahu megalithic platforms 
that were later repurposed as foundations for the Moai, as well as they probably invented the Rongo Rongo incised tablets with the lost language of Easter Island. So in closing, my question is, were the long years from the East the same master builders of the megaliths we see in Peru and Bolivia? Leave me a comment below. I'd love to know what you think. Thanks.